that's the kind of behavior that we wanted to see. So when you go out and design a tool, toy and sell a toy, what do you have to know? You have to know that to create these spaces in such a way that you actually get a little bit of space between the balls, or you get a, something that you can't market and sell. All right? But impulse momentum-wise, what's happening is, click reset, what you'll notice is there's a very large uh, change in velocity right here. And we want to play that game. Click reset. The other thing that's playing is uh, coefficient of restitution. Coefficient of restitution. What is that? Well, it's a funny number. And it says when an object here strikes an object here, how much does it stick together versus how much does it bounce? This one says I want to have a nice, what's called elastic collision. If you go to zero, it's called inelastic collision. And there's going to be energy losses. Click reset and I'll click run. And that's what it looks like for elastic collision. So, you know, again, you're designing something, you want to know how to make it work. You want to somehow make it so this is not clay. If you have clay balls, this is what it looks like. If you have steel balls that have a lot of bounce, it looks like a coefficient of restitution of one. So that's a fancy name for, you know, how bouncy it's going to be when it hits. All right, now let's sort of get into a problem that you actually can solve. This